What's up gamers? I'm Alessandro and this is the setup session of my new Fantasy World campaign. I wanted to deliver a high quality video actual play of the whole thing, but alas, I'm a dum dum with all things streaming. So instead, you will get to listen to the game session while informative slides appear on the screen. Enjoy! So, let's start with presenting ourselves. Me moving and talking is Alessandro, your friendly world, aka the GM for this game. Uh, Fabio is here. Hi. And our red shirted guy is. Andrea, yeah, very nice to meet you. He's the first to die. <laughs> and the voice of Doom is. Andrea. Andrea, too. This is just a first prep session. We do the world building, character creations, fellowship creation. We explain a bit of the basic rules and then we get prepared for the actual play. Mm, pretty good for me. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. The talk. First of all, there's one golden rule. Everything that every single one of us says in the game, uh, their character talking, uh, the description of how they look, uh, the description of the surrounding environment, anything that we describe as part of the game fiction, has to be okay good for everyone else mm. and, the, and this includes me the world if i say something and some of you thinks within himself oh my god this is such bullshit you can <laughs> and you have to speak up and the rules say that i have to acknowledge this and everyone else has to acknowledge this and say okay you feel that this is bullshit so it doesn't exist anymore how can I fix it? What was the problem? And it seems like anarchy and chaos, but it will not be because it's only about the aesthetics of things. So if the rules say that your character is hurt by an arrow to the knee, and my description of this event is not to your liking, you can complain, you can suggest a different way but you cannot change the event itself. And the same goes for everything else. If one of your characters makes a decision and wants to go through the door, smashing it with his bare hands to open it, maybe one of us can object that if you describe it like you just did, it looks like a superhero movie with super strength and not a fantasy kind of tale. Yeah. Uh, so we have to change the description to accommodate your aesthetic taste because it doesn't make sense to you, because it ruins your enjoyment of the, what is going on. But you cannot say, ah, I don't like that you do this, so you don't do it. You can't change the contents, you can change the aesthetics. This might come up a lot at the beginning, or we maybe just click and everything is fine, or maybe you don't feel comfortable at the beginning speaking up these kind of things and eventually when you feel more comfortable you will feel more at ease to say yeah but I would prefer it if it looked more like this or like that. This can be anything about the level of gore, the level of violence, the level of any kind of explicit content. It's both a safety net and a way to sync with everyone, plain and simple, be on the same page. Then, um, okay, it is an opinion of this rulebook that the best kind of fluid play, the most immersive, the one that functions better, is time to think when you have a way to say, okay, but let's make a pause because I have to check a rule or let's make a pause because I need some water. Let's make a pause because I'm tired uh, and I need a smoke. If something is going past you, uh, we're going too fast, uh, you missed something, whatever, ask for a brief stop of the action. It makes the whole game flow much better and be much more fun for everyone 
than just uh, pushing through because we have to be in character 100% of the time, no out character talk and stuff like that. So then this game is open to a lot of personalization. We will literally create our own unique fantasy world, the setting, the kind of story we want to tell, more serious, less serious, Gritty, high fantasy, My Little Ponies, anything goes. But no matter what we do, because of how the rules work, the game will push three main elements. The fellowship, the role of violence, and the role of protagonism. So, the game focuses on a fellowship of adventurers. Your characters will be the protagonists of this story and they will be the members of this fellowship. We will create it together, we will shape it, and like everything else in the game, with time and play, it can change. We can end up playing scenes where uh, a character is in a castle doing stuff while his fellowship members are in the city doing other stuff and another one is running from one place to the other to send a message. This kind of split-screen play is absolutely possible and fine. But if the fellowship is going towards a common goal and one of the characters grows apart from this, the story can go there. But there will be a moment when the character would make sense for the story to exit the fellowship and that will mean that the character will become an NPC, a non-protagonist character. You will create a new character that fits within the fellowship and can play along with the fellowship. So you can become enemies, you can hate each other and say, I will kill you all, just mark my words. And this makes you an NPC. Eventually, maybe in the future, things will happen and your old character changes their mind or accomplishes the important thing they had to do and comes back. And then you can resume play with that character if you want. It's not killed, it's not lost. It's just going its own way. And it's not the way of the fellowship. So we will always focus on the fellowship. All right, just one question. So can we argue with each other? Oh, yes, I mean, yes. So uh, it's not a uh, goodie to shoot story. The story can go everywhere. You can try to kill each other. It's no problem. Every move that has an impact on an NPC has specific rules also for PCs. So that's no problem at all. You are free to do whatever you want. Just know that at some point, if you diverge too much from the core of the fellowship, you will go your separate ways and the spotlight of the story will focus the fellowship. All right. Just that. All clear. Ah. Uh, Violence. Violence is a very important element of the fantasy world games. Not because we use it a lot, not because everything will be dealt with violence, but because the rules ensure that the violence is meaningful. It's horrible, it's useful, it has consequences, and uh, it's always human. It's not really about the tactical challenge where, okay, we go from one fight to another fight to another fight and the obvious solution to everything is, nine times out of ten, just to kill stuff. Because it's more expedient, because we have clearer rules for it, because it gives us experience points, uh, and because it's easier. I mean, thinking of alternative solutions it's often a lot of work. Sometimes you just run out of ideas and yeah, fuck it, kill them all. Uh, this is more in the old school way where violence is dangerous. It's easy to hurt others, but also it's easy to get hurt. And when you get hurt, it can stick with you for a long time. It's dangerous. Uh, this will come in the other part, in the other pillar about protagonism. You are protagonists, you can change the world, you are able to do stuff that most people can't, but you're not infallible, you're not immortal, you can die. 
Now, the game is not out to get you. It's not like, ah, you're playing stupid and so you die. Uh, we will have all the possible tools at our disposal to warn you. Look, if you do this, this might be the consequence. Look, if you go down this path, this might be the consequences. Still, if you want to play an action hero, if you want to be violent, that's fine. Like leaving the fellowship, the story allows you to go wherever you want to go, wherever it makes sense to go. Just know that it's not a light-hearted kind of violence. When you hurt someone, you hurt a person. Even if it's a goblin, the game will show you a visceral aspect of it, which might mean gore, but it also might mean the family of the goblin, or the moral choices and weight of what you do. Even when you don't kill stuff, if you're just being violent, this is represented. And then you can choose to, hey, my character is a cruel person, and this is totally fine, let's go, fine. Or maybe it gives you pause. The only point is, violence is portrayed in a meaningful way. So, be prepared for it. Uh, protagonism, basically I already said, you're protagonist of this story. Everything focuses around you, your choices, what you choose to do, what you choose not to do. You can do a lot. The rules, the moves of the game give you the tools to do a lot. Even when you as players are not sure what to do, probably your character has some idea and the rules will support you in asking for help from each other, from the world. It's an open table. Meta game is good. If you are in a sticky situation and you don't know what to do, pause and ask the other players, guys, what the fuck should I do? All right. This is also true as a player and not really knowing well the rules. I will do my best throughout the course of the game, at, especially at the beginning, uh, to suggest uh, okay, you could also do this, or remember, you have this option open if you want. You're a protagonist, but you can fail. You can die. You can get hurt. Uh, you can be not victorious. At the end of the day, maybe you don't save the princess, you don't stop the messenger, you don't save the world. Last point of the big talk is... Why to play this game? Uh, of course, to have fun, uh, because you like fantasy stories, etc. Uh, but specifically, this one game is all about one goal that we all share, me included. We play to find out. And this means, literally, to find out what happens next. Okay, maybe you don't save the princess. That's not the end of the game. That's not the point. The challenge, it's not the point. The point is, you win, cool, and what do you do next? You fail, so sad, and what do you do about it next? What will the NPCs do? What will the character, the protagonists do? Uh, what will the world do? And everything in the game is driven by this. Your character might be a stranger at the beginning, or maybe you have an idea already that you've been working out the past week. It might change. Be open to change and uh, surprises and to the unexpected. And that's pretty much it. All right. 